Well, good evening, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 19th of September, Sunday evening. Uh, we're live from here, from One Bethlehem Puzzle, downtown Bethlehem. A uh, lot to talk about here today, so we're going to move at warp speed here. Uh, this past week, we actually did a, a, a webinar here with uh, the folks at uh, Matt Pfeiffer at Conversation and Retail, so you can look for that. Uh, if you're down in the Bentonville area, you'll see that uh, video. And then uh, this Monday at 6.30, you'll hear us on, on NPR Marketplace again as we talk about the fall and how weather influences uh, seasonal categories and what you and I buy every day. So again, a couple uh, upcoming press uh, announcements here. Uh, one of the things we talked about with Conversation Retail was just uh, the, the double dip La Nina. Uh, kind of we warned about this, but uh, weakish La Nina this time last year. Uh, we kind of moderated to neutral, and then now we're Models are suggesting potentially up to strong. I doubt it'll be that strong, but uh, at least uh, another moderate La Nina event uh, for this winter. And that uh, among the, all the other, other cycles out there, PDO, AMO, MJO, QBO, uh, again, the sun in its minimum phase, lots of factors that go into uh, why this winter could be uh, on the colder side uh, for the U.S. overall, uh, but not so for the fall. Uh, here in the fall here, these uh, bars, as we showed with the folks in um, conversational retail, was um, year-over-year -year changes, and that's how our retail customers like to look at it. So you see that polar vortex back there in February, uh, really, really cold. Um, and then summer was um, hot west, uh, coolest in four years in the east, so it was still a, a warm summer, but um, not record hot here in the east. Uh, fall here is going to be pretty warm, so it's a very favorable for retail, season merchandise sales, um, probably not rushing out to buy a coat just yet. Um, so again, uh, very unfavorable warm Q3 uh, fall, but then uh, getting stronger is in November, December, January. So we think Q4 for our retail customers is going to be pretty strong here with a, a much colder trend uh, as we go through the season. And then just taking this down even, a, uh, even by week, we can take this all the way down to by day uh, everywhere in the world, down to about a mile. So again, just how we would help um, big retail customers weather the storm right now, which uh, again, probably through Halloween, uh, much, much, much hotter trends than this time a year ago on the national scale. And then taking a step further is just quantifying what all that means for, for retail sales. So we call this our power of one degree technology. And every degree colder this time of year, we typically would buy oh, up to 5% more coats, uh, women's outerwear. Um, the problem is we're you know trending at least uh, 10, 11 degrees hotter this weekend uh, than last year. So unfortunately, when you quantify that, uh, again, it's great for maybe outdoor food categories, still doing your picnics, uh, beach trips, uh, cold beverage, ice cream allergy, obviously through the roof here. Those are up 11, 33%. Uh, but things like jeans, coffee, pantry loading of your pantry for fall, uh, flu, boots, men's outerwear, bird seed, coats, uh, you name it, those cold categories are down 20 to 90 percent. So not a favorable period here for overall seasonal merchandise sales. Calendar may say fall arrives on the 22nd, and it may get a little cooler here in the east uh, briefly um, here as we go to later through the week. But again, unfortunately, just a much warmer fall than a year ago. Recapping here last week on a retail calendar, so this big map is temperature trends versus last year. Here in the U.S., we were about 4.4 warmer than last year, fourth hottest in 36 years, so much above average on that front. Cool spot, you'd say, was um, out in the extreme Pacific Northwest. 8% drier than last year, 15th wettest in 36 years, so still above average um, for the U.S. overall. Up in Canada, a little bit warmer. Um, Europe still continues cooler trends, Russia cooler trends. China, quite a bit warmer, warmest in 11 years. Australia, cooler, as they're about to enter their spring. Uh, India, a little bit cooler, and Brazil, cooler. So, But world overall was the warmest in five years, above average, wettest in three years. Maps inset left are the trends versus average. Drought is, is still pretty uh, pretty severe out there. We're still the worst in eight years. It went up a little bit of an uptick here this past week. So we're 58% of the country in dry to drought phases. Uh, up over last year at 57%. So we had a pretty severe drought last year, expanding uh, in the west into the central plains. Uh, so, again, the worst since back to 2013, and so it's kind of a double dip here. In fact, this will probably continue um, with La Nina into the spring of 2022 and uh, even continue down under in Brazil. So um, a lot of dry conditions that continue with this uh, La Nina-type cycle. This week here, hard to believe, uh, fourth week of September here, but um, a little bit warmer than last year, 0 0.9 warmer, uh, 11th warmest in 36 years. Cool spots will be um, uh, cooler spots uh, would be down in the southeast and the northwest uh, compared to last year, though even the southeast is uh, quite a bit warmer than uh, than last year. So a brief cool down coming in the east for a couple of days, but um, nothing too crazy cold. 90% wet in last year, wet in three years, so we'll see with this cold front, um, maybe a lot of heavy rain there in the Ohio Valley. We'll see about that 11th wettest in 36 years. for the saw the little bit of snow out there in the Yellowstones, uh, so the high peaks of the west are already getting some snow. Uh, speaking of the peak, uh, peak hurricane season here, we're already up to about 17 named storms. We're going to have um, uh, Rose imminently out there coming off Africa. Peter's out there now uh, west of the Windward Islands. Um, Peter looks like it's headed toward Bermuda. Uh, we'll see. Uh, 
So again, but we may even have Rose out there and Sam um, with another system coming off Africa. So very active peak here. Uh, we had projected 20 to 23 name storms. We feel very comfortable that we'll hit those totals. Uh, again, still think we're not out of the woods here. Um, so East Coast, Florida particular, um, you're definitely not out of the woods here for the rest of the season. We have a long through at least October here to go for the hurricane season. Looking at next week here, again, hard to believe we're going to say 2 October through 2 October, but uh, 4.6 warmer than last year, warmest in four years, third hottest in 36 years. So brief cool down and then back to the warm trends. Uh, much, much drier. We'll see if it's this dry, but uh, number one driest in 36 years, so a pretty dry week. Um, good for farmers getting out there, getting ready to uh, harvest uh, farm activities here. So if we aggregate all these trends uh, over the two-week period here in the world, so wall-to-wall -wall warm pretty much in the in the U.S. for the two-week aggregate overall. The cold spots would still be there across Russia and Siberia. A map inside left is the precip trends. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and we'll see you here this time next week.